Welcome everybody to this game review of Space Tyrant, or as I like to refer to it, the Darth Vader simulator, or maybe our Emperor Palpatine simulator, however, however you want to say it. Basically, you're an evil guy, you want to take over the universe. Pretty standard stuff. Anyways, let's go ahead and get into the review. Thanks to Blue Wizard Digital for the free key, I appreciate it, and let's get started. Additional pylons. G -g 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 game review. So, Space Tyrant is a colorful, fun strategy game with various levels of strategy. You are acting, again, as this evil overlord of the galaxy, a tyrant, if you will, uh, a dictator of sorts, trying to conquer everybody that you can. So, uh, you must, acting as the evil dictator, you must thwart the Republic and eventually invade for, and uh, invade the Republic and try and take over their, their worlds, their planets, their galaxies, fulfill your Darth Vader fantasies, right? Your space conquering fantasies. It's, it's kind of this fun, uh, I don't know, it's some, it's fun to play the, it's fun to play the bad guy. In Space Tyrant, you get to play the bad guy. So I like that. I like that about it. So the challenges that are involved in the game, uh, basically each turn unrest. Uh, so basically as you choose a, a mission to go into each turn, there's unrest that's caused because of the public order decreases. You have to continue to conquer. You have to continue to win battles and bombard planets and all that sort of stuff in order to maintain your your tyranny, basically. So the uh, the more tyranny you have, the less likely uh, the planets that you are a tyrant over are will rebel, that sort of thing, against your against your overlord rule. And so that's one challenge. It's basically acts as some uh, kind of a movable timer, if you will. If you don't conquer enough, that timer goes down and you can eventually lose the game. You can lose the match, basically. Um, so over time, the planets that you could conquer will ally with the Republic and begin sabota sabotaging you in different ways. Uh, they might be hacking your science. They might cause your uh, the more unrest during each uh, at the end of each turn. Uh, they might reduce your income through pirating or raiding or something like that. Uh, they may raise fleets to invade your, you know, raise space fleets in order to to raid your planets and take over your planets, take them back. Or they could increase your planet, the planet's defense. So there's all these different ways that these these planets that you're trying, trying to conquer could start to uh, you know ruin your plans. So basically, a lot of this game attempts to force you to make quick, uh, to be very quick and efficient with your conquering. Uh, the more you conquer, the, the faster you conquer, the more uh, public order that you're gonna retain. Um, and if you don't conquer quickly, then these planets start to resist you in various ways and it can be really difficult. Um, so space monsters, there's also space monsters as another challenge. So they prov prove a hard challenge for, um, for your fleets, especially early on, uh, but they guard very powerful planets that can have some really impactful bonuses, like uh, just you know a planet that gives you a lot of gold or maybe a planet that reduces the cost of, of new ships for your fleet. So very, very important to, to get those. Um, I found that the game quietly punishes mistakes, like moving in the wrong direction if you accidentally, you know, if basically your space fleet can only, your fleets can only move one planet at a time, they can only take one action per turn, um, and so because of that you have to be very judicious with where you move, how you move, uh, your plans, that sort of thing, so uh, the game doesn't really like outright say you made a terrible mistake, it's just like if you make a bad move, then eventually it'll punish you. So gameplay overall, basically you select a mission from the overall the overworld map you select your loadout with the general that you're going to be taking with you and you kind of you know select where you're going to go what you're going to do and see what kind of rewards you're going to get in the mission you build your fleets you manage your empire and you attempt to expand to meet whatever various victory condition you have laid out for you it might just be you need to have a certain amount of money it might be that you need to have a certain amount of income per turn you might have to conquer a certain number of planets or research a number of technologies whatever it may be um, but there's going to be a, a one or two, usually, uh, different outcomes that you can use for, to, to try and win. And you have to build your fleet and conquer planets in order to attempt to reach that victory condition, whatever that may be. Uh, in battle, so you've also got this in battle gameplay, so more of a, a tactical uh, battles, if you will. Um, your, your fleets basically line up against the enemy fleet and you just sit there and shoot at each other. Because that's how space battles work, apparently. There's no... There's no movement or anything like that. You just shoot back and forth. Um, it's, it's like Civil War era tactics. Um, in battle, basically, you can activate each ship's ability with energy to try and take down the enemies before they do the same to you. Um, so there's also a little bit of strategy on placement of your of your um, of your fleets and where you put your ships so that the abilities uh, might impact other ships in your fleets, or they might heal or protect or uh, you know 
cause your cause other ships to do more damage that sort of thing so there's a little bit of strategy involved in in how you place your ships as well which is fun um you've also got cards that that come into play so you have crystals or energy uh and basically you can you earn cards every turn and these cards can be played to add effects so you might be able to build a couple ships for free or uh, explore a planet they might increase or you know the garrison on, on a friendly planet or they might reduce the garrison on a, an opponent's planet or something like that uh there's even cards to gain more cards right card draw so uh these cards can have more effects and, and can really uh, help you when you're in a bind um, so basically, you take over planets. Some of these planets also have abilities. Um, so they might be that you are able to uh, draw a card, uh, even. Um, you've got somewhere if you you can, basically you can uh, you could raid them for more money, or you could uh, you could pay some money to hurry up your science or something like that. So these sometimes they have different abilities. Others give you persistent buffs. Um, there are barracks planets, which basically they allow you to have another dice roll when trying to siege. Uh, planets um, so there's different abilities like that as well some some persistent again others activated and some are just regular old planets um, uh, also very important is that with high public order uh, with a lot of tyranny you can death star your opponents you can basically shoot a laser at your opponents and uh, fry them uh, take out anywhere between one and three ships in a fleet which is nice it does sacrifice some of your order but it's uh, some of your public order but it's a nice way basically to uh, if you're doing very well, then what you can do is you can sacrifice a little bit of public order in order to uh, hopefully propel you towards your victory. So, uh, overall, it, it's a fun strategy game. There's multiple levels of strategy. I, I enjoyed that. So you've got the overworld map, you've got your, your galaxy, then you've got your, your placement of your, your fleets, and then you've also got how, just the, the tactical movements and that sort of thing. So, Space Tyrant. Uh, let's get on to the review. It's time for the rating. So, uh, just a quick brief explanation of my rating basically i i like to rate these as if you were you guys were my friends and you're coming to me and saying hey how did you like this game should i buy it so this that's kind of how i rate these so uh one to five basically one a game that's a one never buy it don't ever buy it that's in my rating system if it's a game is a two serious caution only buy this game if you're really a big fan of it a big fan of the series or the anime or the cartoon or whatever it is uh three a three a game that's a three is a solid game it's a fun game it's worth your money you're gonna have a good time it might not it might not change your life but it, it, it's worth your money right uh four uh, a game that's a four is a recommended purchase if you like this game if you like that genre go buy the. if you like the genre go buy the game and a five it is, is a buy now like sell your kidney uh you know hand over <laughs> hand over one of your loved ones in order to to buy this game you it's a classic in the making you'll never regret buying it so rating for space tyrant i give it a solid three and i i say this for a couple reasons i i really okay uh let me preface this as it sits right now the game is a three if this game were a mobile game this game would be a four or even a 4.5 depending on how they monetized it so that that is really that's really the struggle that i had with it is that it, it's it's 20 dollars on steam and uh personally i just don't think it's worth 20 dollars at this point um, it's it's got a very mobile game feel. It makes it, and this kind of makes sense because the developers come from PopCap Games, which develop a lot of you know, like Bejeweled um, and a lot of other mobile games. So it's got a very mobile feel. There's nothing wrong with mobile games. There's nothing wrong with with anything like that. But basically, after playing this game, I kind of see it as a slightly bigger mobile game that's trying to be a PC game, um, or vice versa. It might have been that this game was meant for mobile and then it turned out to just be too bulky for mobile operating systems to handle uh, mobile processors to handle something like that so it kind of seems like it's like in this weird it's like this weird in between right and so it, it seems like the developers weren't able to figure out should this be just a straight mobile game or should we make this a full-fledged pc game and they went with pc game and it, i don't know so it just kind of seems like in this weird this weird gray area between so it, it very, but very much, if you play the game, it's very much like a, a mobile game. You've got cards that you, you draw and you play. You've got, there's dice, there's tapping that you do in battle, that sort of thing. Uh, you've got energy, gear, all this sort of stuff. These are all mobile-like game elements, right? These are all game elements where you could easily monetize them. Uh, and and so, uh, the, so that's just kind of why I see, it seems like a mobile game. Um, that's trying to get edgewise into the PC market. There was also some UI issues that I had, uh, in particular when you've got a full squad of 
when you've got a full squad, a full fleet of ships, clicking, actually like clicking on the, the, the ships on the top row and the bottom row was a little weird. It, it was kind of like out of sight. And so I, the, the UI needs to be like in the battle needs to be scaled a little bit when you've got so many ships. Um, so I have two recommendations uh, for this game. So for you, the viewers, I would... If you're really interested in the game, if you if it looks good, I would say wait wait till it's on sale and get it for 12 bucks or something like that, and then it's definitely worth it. Um, it's 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 definitely fun. I really enjoyed it. It's pretty challenging actually. Um, it's a, got a good amount of challenge to it, and I think that there's a good amount of replay. There's a decent amount of replayability that you have as well. So recommendation: buy it on sale. If you're if you're really a it's it's a pretty decent lightweight strategy game, even though it does have some deep. Uh, parts to it uh, and then I have a recommendation for blue wizard if blue wizard I honestly I would take this game I would scale it down a little bit and I would make it a mobile game that's what I would do I would sell it for three dollars and then monetize it in, in a non-invasive way uh, and honestly if if this were a mobile like I said if this were a mobile game I'd give it a four or four point five this would be an amazing mobile game scale a couple things back make it a little bit more user friendly when it comes to mobile like make it a little bit more mobile and like honestly blue wizard if if you watch this i don't think you'll watch this but if you did turn this into a mobile game and you will just just watch the cash roll in this is a great mobile game if you turn it into a mobile game so that's my review basically the way that i see this is i see this as an excellent mobile game that got lost on its way to to the google play store it got lost on its way to the iplay uh, to iplay or whatever it is it got lost on its way to to the to the Android market, and it accidentally ended up on Steam, and uh, now it doesn't know what to do itself. It doesn't have enough money to get over to to Apple Apple Play or whatever. Anyways, so that's that's just kind of what I see. It got lost on the way to market, and it ended up on Steam. Um, so it's a fun, light strategy game that's surprisingly difficult at times, and, and I I thoroughly did enjoy it. I just it just seems like it's in this we weird gray area. So buy it on sale, and I think you'll have a good time with it. Uh, but for now, it seems like a solid three. But again, man, if this was a mobile game, I'd be playing this all the time on my tablet. Like, this would be an excellent, excellent mobile game. I, I just, I, I really want to make that clear. It's a fun game, but it's just, it's not quite a PC game. But it's not quite a mobile game. So, just, just something to think about. Anyways, this has been my re game review of Space Tyrant. Again, I really appreciate the, uh, the ability to review it. If you guys want to watch me play it on my channel, be sure to let me know down below. But until then... Thanks for tuning in. Be sure to hit like and subscribe and check out some of the other series and the other game reviews that I've got here on the channel. Thanks again for tuning in and we'll see you next time here on Additional Pylons Games. Thanks for watching Additional Pylons Games. Click one of the boxes to watch another video and click the circle to subscribe and join the APG Zealots. If you enjoyed the video, leave a like and share it with your friends. Comment below and I'll see you next time here on Additional Pylons Games.